Hi there! Today I'm going to show you my latest project, which is a bar top style arcade. It's not the first arcade I've built, since uh, I built another one for about a year ago that was using a full-blown Windows PC. This time I wanted to make something simpler and I wanted to build a, uh, an arcade that's running on a Raspberry Pi 2 instead of a Windows PC, which makes everything a bit harder. So the original blueprints for this design are downloaded from uh, instructables.com but I've made a few changes to the original design. So my design is using a standard marquee without any lights. I just wanted as simple as possible. I've installed a 19 inch monitor and I kept the control panel as simple as possible with with uh, six buttons for each players and a start and select button. If I turn the arcade around, you can see that I've mounted the speaker on the side. I have another one on the other side. In order to make it easy to turn on and off the speakers and change the volume, you have a volume control just next to it. So this way you don't have to go into any settings and change it from there, which can be a, a bit difficult, especially if you're in the middle of a game. Turning it all the way around. The back of the, uh, of the arcade is quite simple. The only thing you have here is uh, power in. It's a standard power connector, as you would see on your desktop PC. Just next to it is a power and reset button. So uh, once you insert the power cord, it will automatically boot up and you have to turn it off using the graphical user interface. But instead of having it to unplug and replug the power, you can just push the power button and it will boot up again. Or if the Raspberry Pi crashes or something else happens, it's a uh, it's a reset button. I haven't screwed uh, the, the back plate but used magnets instead so it's really easy to open up that cage just pull the handle downwards and it's open. Inside you have the speakers mounted on each side the Raspberry Pi itself is mounted directly to the screen using the Visa mount. And uh, I have a XMO controller board. So the buttons and joysticks are brought from ultracade.cu.uk. And they make do a pretty good job. I'm actually much more impressed by those buttons and, uh, and joysticks than, than the Xarcade which I brought for my Windows build. I really like those. Uh, I have a lot of space in here, so adding lights or any other hardware wouldn't be a problem at all. But as mentioned before, I want to keep it as simple as possible. If I want to close the arcade, it's just to take the back plate, slide it up, and see. Yeah. Be careful that uh, that all the power cords on the side, of course. Slider up there, perfectly. Let's turn it on. The power is inserted, and the arcade boots up. Currently I have RetroPie 3 running on it. I've, I'm uh, running the pre-built SD card image. So it had a few bugs I had to fix from, uh, from source. Uh, I've written a little bit about this and my issues I faced in my blog post. So just take a look at that and if you have any issues, uh, you can comment on the video or comment on my blog post and I will help you out. But apart from those small issues I've had, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the setup. It's running emulation station as a front end, which is, it's decent, 
I wouldn't say it's great, but it's 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 doing the job. The only thing I don't like with emulation station is uh, that it's it has a bit of problems if you're uh, using more than 10,000 ROMs or more than a few systems. So the issues I've had is that the screen goes blank or uh, or the system just crashes for no reason or there's a reason and that's this and the reason is that the Raspberry Pi doesn't support those many ROMs. Um, what I've done is uh, I've added Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, Color, MAME of course, the most important one, Master System, Mega Drive, Entertainment System and Super Nintendo. In total I'm uh, I have about nine and a half thousand ROMs running on it right now. So once I was going above 10,000, I was noticing a few problems. So in order to keep it stable, I, uh, I, I just settled with those systems. I didn't really like the, that 50 shades of gray look that Emulation Station had. So I created uh, my own design and made it black so it would fit with the rest of the design. Here you see Super Nintendo and what I've done is that I've created game list for each system so only the ROMs that I wanted to show are listed. This is especially important for MAME since I don't want to list all the 6000 ROMs which is a default ROM set for MAME supported by Raspberry Pi. Uh, the reason for that is that the original set is 6,000 6, uh, ROMs, but uh, not all of them are working and not all of them are supporting the hardware I have here. So some of those main ROMs would uh, require a mouse or guns or something, yeah, some other hardware I don't, I don't want to connect to this particular build. So what I did, I used ROM Lister and created a custom list of games that I know would, will work on this particular build. So instead of 6,000 6, ROMs, I've only ha I, I have about 4,500, but I know these are going to work. Another thing worth, worth mentioning is that I have an image and metadata and a description for almost every game. The way I've done this is that I've written a scraper for my Windows Arcade and I reused that scraper software to scrape all the information for all of these games. I've heard that the scraper isn't any good that is shipped with Emulation Station, so I didn't want to use it. And it will also take quite a long time to scrape all this information instead of having uh, my Windows PC doing the same. So launching a game is pretty easy. Just select whatever you want to play. Press a button, takes a few seconds, and the game starts. There you go. If I don't want to play this uh, this game, I just have to press start and select at once, and it will quit. The same goes for all other systems as well. So this pretty much covers all the software. Um, there's nothing, I haven't made any major changes to it ex except from the design and scraped all the information. If you have any questions or um, just want to talk about the Cades, feel free to get in touch with me using my blog or the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for uh, watching.